welcome to Learn Bites, the show that delivers bite-sized pieces of wisdom so you can learn how to increase your efficiency and productivity, embrace your natural creativity, and lead with impact. I'm Samantha Garrett from Using Technology Better, and joining me on the show today is Dom Puddick. Hi, Dom. Welcome. Hi, everybody. Thanks for having me. So glad to have you here. So Dom is uh, the founder of Evolve Fitness and Nutrition, and she's going to share her wisdom today on the topic of efficiency and productivity. And full disclosure, I will just say Dom is my amazing personal trainer, and that's why I've got her on the show, because she is just brilliant, and she's given me lots of advice. Um, so anyone that's been checking this out on Instagram and seeing some photos of my breakfast, a lot of them come from inspiration. <laughs> so you're famous already, Dom, before we even start. You go way back, yep. <laughs> yeah, totally. So enough about that in my breakfast. Dom, do you want to share a little bit um, about yourself and about Evolve before we jump into the questions? Absolutely. Thanks, Sam. Um, so as a dietitian and personal trainer, I have a holistic approach with helping people find their best health. So this may mean completely different things for different people, but I love to help my patients and clients find exactly what that might mean for them. So for you, Sam, it could be good breakfast or getting enough food in the day with your busy schedule. Um, <laughs> for other people, it might just be working on general nutrition, uh, training, sleep, stress. Um, it could be just something as simple as changing overall mindset and actually enjoying what they do for their health. So all of these small habits accumulate to create a person's overall health and well-being and if i can have a small impact on some of these habits that it can definitely be life-changing for the client yeah and that's so interesting john and that's part of the reason um why i really love working with you is because you do take that holistic approach and that's why i invited you on the show like you were a top what top of my list of guests because i'm just like <laughs> john's got such an interesting way of looking at fitness and nutrition and such a personalized approach, which is, I really, really resonate with. So, and I was just going to say too, because, um, so Dom is usually down here in the Melbourne region with me, but she has totally pivoted with COVID and moved to a like online model, which is really, really amazing. Um, and I've, and she's actually in Queensland at the moment and I'm still being able to do all my fitness and all my nutrition in an online capacity. So what we'll do at the end of the show too, um, I'll get Dom to share where you can find her program. So, cause it's totally not location based anymore, which is cool. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just, yeah, like you were saying, the way I work has changed so much since the COVID crisis started. So instead of doing face-to-face -face training sessions on a daily basis where people would come to me, like Sam, I now just split my time between doing Zoom PT sessions, um, online coaching, program creation, Zoom nutrition consults, and running online challenges for groups. So there's a little bit of something for everyone, and there's a whole lot or a little amount, depending on what someone needs. So again, that individualized kind of approach for people, which is really good. It's so good because like, and that's sort of what we're like at using technology better. It's all about individualized and customized technology training. And that's why I'm just like, you've got like the nutrition version of that, which I love. In the theater. <laughs> anyway, <like>. Exactly. <laughs> all right. So we're going to get into the questions. So as you know, um, this is all about bite-sized pieces of wisdom. So I'm actually going to put a timer on for four minutes. We've got eight questions on efficiency and productivity. So I'm really excited to hear your thoughts on these topics. My so goodness. are you ready, Dom, for the race against the clock? <laughs> I'm ready. No pressure. I, I do know what. Usually you're timing me to raise things. Oh my no. goodness. The tables have turned. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to click start and we're going to kick off. First phone and current phone. So my first mobile phone was a little Nokia brick thing back in 2004. So they didn't do too much, but they were definitely indestructible. And I remember it costing 25 cents to send each text. But now I have an iPhone 11 Pro and I justified that one by the three camera feature, which allows me to take some incredible photos when I'm cooking and doing exercise tutorials. What does working efficiently and product productively mean for you? So working efficiently and productively means working smarter, not harder. Automating as many processes as possible and focusing on the things in my business that actually need me to function, like the one-on-one -on -one consults is imperative to me. So outsourcing to apps and scheduling systems is a bit of a lifesaver. When and where do you work best? I work best first thing in the morning, straight after a coffee and with minimal distractions. So for me, it's really important to have my own organized space without clutter. So you can see in this room here, it's exactly what I like. <laughs> Quite bare, that's hilarious. And I happen to know at the moment you're working with an amazing view, so maybe that helps as well. That know. definitely helps. Well, watching from the windows here, actually. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, favorite app for helping your efficiency or productivity? Acuity Scheduling. 
is a bit of a game changer. So I don't know if you've heard of this before, but it, it just integrates with your website um, and it allows clients to book on my website for their appointment of choice at a time that suits them and me. So the booking system updates in real time to block out any spots in my calendar as I fill up my calendar separately. Mm -hmm. And then it cuts out any unnecessary back and forth with booking in appointments and it takes prepayment for services. So it means I don't have to follow up um, payments or do any invoicing. So that's a huge time saver. Oh, that sounds really cool. We'll pop the link to that below because yeah, awesome. Um, two minutes, two minutes and eight seconds less. Big, biggest efficiency or productivity challenge? Having my phone around me when I'm trying to work. So it's a, <laughs> definitely a bit of a double-edged sword because I need it for so many of those business apps and booking appointments and customer interface things. But sometimes can definitely find myself lost in a bit of a rabbit hole. So now it's notifications off sleep mode, no Instagram, just once a day. So working on <laughs> So maybe that leads really well into the next question. The number one thing you've done that's had the biggest impact on your efficiency or productivity. So for this one, I actually think just waking up early has been so helpful for me. So since making this move to Queensland, we wake up with the sun around 5am. So it means I have a solid three hours of time for myself before I even start work to do things like exercising or catching up with friends or doing any little sort of maintenance tasks in my business. So getting up early and making more, more time in the day. So does that mean we all should move to Queensland just so we get up? So, yeah. yeah, everyone should just move up to the Gold Coast with me. <laughs> <laughs> if we could leave the state, maybe we would if we were down yeah. here. <laughs> 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 now. Book video or podcast you'd recommend to others, Dom? So I've recommended this one to pretty much every second person and client since I finished reading it. And it's called Atomic Habits by James Clear. Ooh. So um, in this book, James basically explains very clearly that the person you want to be or what you want to achieve is just the accumulation of thousands of tiny atomic sized habits. That's why it's called atomic habits. And he just puts really clear frameworks into place for you to be that person. So everyone needs to read this. Cool. We'll definitely put that uh, down below and I will definitely add that to my list. So awesome. Thanks, Dom. Last question, 25 seconds. If you could save an hour each day and spend that time doing something you're passionate about, how would you spend it? Okay, so for me, I already do get to something that to do something that I'm passionate about on a daily basis, and that's helping people with their health. But if I'm going to answer in more of a selfish sense, learning. So reading, learning Spanish, and trying to do something new every day. That's what I'm doing at the moment. Love it. Two seconds, one second. We are done. You're amazing. <laughs> Perfect oh, timing. It is. Dumb. And I love that. I got really excited when you said that learning one for eight, because if anyone was to ever ask me that question, I'd be like, sorry, that would be my answer. Um, no, and it's so true. It was such a hard thing to say because it says like, if you could save an hour each day and spend that time doing something you're passionate about, how would you spend it? But I already try to do everything that I am passionate about every day, you know, like exercise, nature, helping people. But learning is a big one, I think. I think I feel like I've had so much more of a productive day if I have learned something new. Even if it's just one word in Spanish. <laughs> I'm not like, that. That's so often not selfish because what you're learning then goes on to help others. Like, okay, mm -hmm. maybe the Spanish, I don't know, maybe you can pick up some Spanish clients. But, but yeah, like the, but most of what the learning actually then impacts other people as well, this kind of ripple effect. So yeah, even definitely. though you kind of use that, yeah, interesting. Definitely, definitely when it comes to things, just like even habit forming or general health stuff or learning more nutrition info, even if it's just a fun fact that I can pass on to someone, I always think yeah. it's a bit interesting for them. That's awesome. Well, thanks, Dom. Now, I'm going to put a uh, question without notice to you. So don't freak out because I happen to know, I've read some really interesting posts you have put on your Instagram feed, which are about being efficient with your workouts. And like, because I know, like we were sort of focusing on the business sense, but I would wonder if you just wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about that because I just found that so interesting when I read it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So number one thing is definitely setting an environment that's right for you to work out in. So if you know your kids are distracting, don't be in the lounge room with them when you're trying to do your workout. Try and get up before the rest of the family or do it in a time that's time for you. So remove your distractions. Um, make a workout space so when you walk into it, you know it's workout time. So it could be a little corner in your spare room or it could be part of the garage where you've got your weights and your mat already set up for you. That's already going to save you five minutes every time, every time you walk into that space because you don't have to clear up. You've already got it set up for you. Um, apart from that, timing-wise, there's a strategy I like to use with my training sessions and it's called supersets. So instead of doing three sets of push-ups in a row where you have to rest for about 30 seconds between each set and then doing 
three sets of squats after that, then having to rest 30 seconds between each one of those, just put them together and do squats, push-ups, squats, push-ups, no rest in between if you can, if you're fit enough. And that way you're already going to save about three minutes rest time. Mm. So it's going to condense your 45 to hour minute workout down to 30 minutes. And I was so hoping you were going to say that because I love that, John. And yeah, I, I saw that because that's what you program for me. And it is so good because particularly I do my workouts at the end of the day and I'm like, okay, cool. Like I'm loving this, but I just want to get done now because I've got other things. So it's like condense, condense. And yeah, so good. Exactly. Yeah. Get it done. Cooked in a while you're doing it as well. If you yeah. want to, like you said, instead of um, waiting around and doing them separately, you can pop the oven on. 30 minute timer, do your workout and then go back and eat your food. <laughs> exactly. Before we jumped on the interview, we, we were talking about all the benefits of doing workouts at home, just like the benefits of working at home. So I think I, <laughs> <laughs> well, I put that one in there. Cooking and working out at the same time is definitely a great strategy. <laughs> great efficiency tip. Beautiful. All right. So before we wrap up the session, John, where can people find you and find more about Evolve? So my website is www.evolvefn.com.au. So that's Evolve FN for fitness and nutrition. Yep. Or I'm on Instagram and it's dom.dietitian.and.pt. And now that I say that, that doesn't sound very efficient, but I wasn't quite <laughs> able to summarise myself in just a little Instagram handle. But yeah, that's, that's good. We'll, we'll link it anyway and we'll tag you all in, Dom, so not a problem. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. No worries. Thank you for spending the time with us today. So, uh, and thanks everyone for joining us. So that, um, that is it for the show today. But if you have loved the conversation I've had with Dom and you want to see more episodes of Learn Bites, be sure to subscribe to the Using Technology Better YouTube channel. And if you're listening to the podcast version of the show, um, of course, follow the podcast on your favorite app and that way you'll be notified of all of the new episodes. Now, we also have a fortnightly newsletter which is packed full of productivity and efficiency and organization tips. So if that's your thing, then you can subscribe to that. The link is below as well. So that is it for today, but I will see you again soon for another episode of the bite-sized learning adventure that is life. See you then.